afternoon you guys my name is Kristani Jen and in today's video I would like to talk to you guys about dreams and dream moods so the first thing I want to talk to you guys about is dreams what are dreams right dreams are images they're pictures their ideas in your subconscious mind that's trying to figure out your day or that's trying to figure out your desires or show you things about what stood out to you in the day so sometimes dreams could predict the future when it's like that you could call that a vision a premonition a prediction in your dreams and I have had some predictions in my dreams and being a seer I have had certain personal things I see like that them that I see that will happen in the future right so let me first start off with I'm a seer and I figured I was a seer I'd say approximately a year and a half ago when I went on this fast and on the fast when I went on the fast and the fast was basically a, a Daniel fast I went on a Daniel fast and afterwards I begin to see images of things that is going to happen in the future but it's more personalized to me now there are certain seers from what I've witnessed that could see things more on a global scale they could see things to do deal with okay war rumors of war they could see things that have to do with like COVID-19 pandemics Certain people could see things that's going to happen with other people. But me, at least for my first year, my premonitions and my clips, my small clips, are usually more personalized to me. And there are certain things that haven't happened yet, so I'm, I'm keeping quiet on them. So, um, being a seer, um all i have to say is that the clips are short they're like eight seconds to ten seconds and i know their premonitions because it's usually things i've asked god for they are things that i know it's gonna happen like i i could definitely know that they're gonna happen right and there's stuff i'm waiting for to to see for them to pan out right but they definitely are premonitions so Dreams are ideas, they are pictures, they are images that come from your subconscious mind trying to process mainly your day or some future event or your past but they are basically about you and what, how you process the world. So certain dreams that are good or, or not good is when you receive food or when you receive or if you have a sexual dream that's usually not a good thing right because when you get food that's usually a transfer and when you have a sexual dream that's usually a transfer a spirit spouse type of transfer also so you really need to be careful about that one so one thing in christianity right and this is basically towards the christian aspect you rebuke certain dreams and you accept certain dreams right so there'll be certain dreams they come from dreams could come from you they could come from god they could come from satan right or demonic entities right so how you know it's a demonic entity for instance you dream you get into a car accident you dream that you you get stabbed you dream that something really bad happens to you like a, a foreboding premonition you dream that you're on the train the train explodes so usually if it's from saying you notice that it will have something it's spelling out doom for you i remember i had an aunt and she kept having this dream that said that she was not gonna live um she was not gonna live past the age of 40 so it was a dream that she kept having that kept warning her that she was not gonna live past the age of 40 so she would say every time she would have that dream she would rebuke that dream right and lo and behold she she did pass 40 and on her 40th birthday she had a really like a horrible dream 
but it, it was fixed because she kept rebuking it right so the thing is you have the power to accept certain dreams and you have the power to rebuke them right so certain dreams like you get into a car accident obviously you don't want to accept anything where you're going to get into a car accident so you would rebuke that right so so there are certain things in which i've heard um i was looking at gregory's two cent for for example and he spoke of this young man who had this dream in which he saw himself getting into a car accident but this young man he did not know to rebuke the dream so what he did he painted the dream and he hung it up on his wall and what ended up happening is he hung up the dream on his this he painted it a beautiful picture and he hung it up on his wall and he would see it all the time well it wasn't long after when he it wasn't long after when he was going to school he came from school um and as he was in the his car the car slid and he hit a tree and he was pronounced dead because um he slammed into the tree and it was a it was fatal he died so that's one instance where you will have a dream and you won't rebuke it or you'll entertain it or you'll say yes to it in your spirit and you will see that it actually comes to pass and that's just one really bad instance right so i have actually had other dreams other people have had dreams about me um and and i i spoke about this one before in which they would see certain things from me and lo and behold it would happen right so dreams can foretell the future they, they can actually foretell the future so you really need to be careful about what you accept and what you rebuke right so if it's something you want like if the dream is saying you're gonna get an opportunity and it's something to your liking go ahead and accept it but if the dream is saying you're gonna get into an accident something bad is gonna happen you're gonna receive an illness or uh, somebody's gonna die be sure to rebuke it because dreams you can actually accept and rebuke right so another thing is so dreams also represent unconscious desires and wishes right certain times you have a dream that you're with someone that you really care about or you have a dream you're 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 doing something that you really love you have a career of your dream so dreams represent your innermost desires, your innermost wishes, what you would like to happen, right? So it's your body's way of processing what you would, your desires, what you want, and what you want to happen. So then, what else? So dreams, you will notice certain dreams, um, certain dreams could be premonitions, right? So we're going to go into premonitions. Certain dreams could be premonitions of what to come, of what is to come. So in dreams, you will notice in dreams, you could have a sister in the dream, but you don't have a sister in real life. So usually that will represent, okay, somebody you have a close bond with, or something that's close to your heart if it's a sister because that's what a sister usually is sometimes you will see in the dream you'll get a feeling you have something happen and you feel bad about it or you feel good about it so certain times when you're interpreting a dream you say you see okay did this make me feel good or how did this make me feel right for instance you have a dream that you have long luscious hair obviously sometimes you will feel good in that instance you, you see yourself having beautiful hair that's that would be a good dream you felt good about it but if you had a dream somebody cut your hair you felt bad about it right so you have to usually pay attention to how you feel in the dream usually the way you feel 
is the most likely the, the main interpretation of the dream. So then that's one thing. So in a premonition or a vision, what you most likely see is that you will see your life events pan out in a way that is going to happen in the future, right? So a dream, you could see other people that represent your family. You could see people that you don't necessarily know that represent uh, people in your family. You might see things that are kind of fantastic. They like fantasy. But in a premonition, it will be definitely things that seem like they're very likely to happen in real life. So premonition, they're more like you see something like you you see yourself getting a job opportunity or you see yourself um getting something that you really wanted like a promotion or something or what else what else would somebody really want or a girl or cr your crush coming to talk to you but it's like it's in second period or something or it's in that college class to come and talk to you so basically a, a premonition looks more realistic. That's what I want to tell you. It looks more realistic, right? And it looks like the event is something that's to come. You get usually dreams will tell you how they feel, and you will definitely know if it's a premonition or if it's a, just a normal dream. Because a dream will have aspects of it that's kind of like fantasy. Okay. So. You could have dreams that are vivid. You could have dreams, the normal dreams, such as you're falling, you fa you falling down. You could have a dream in which your teeth are falling out. These are common dream moods, right? But there are certain things you will see in your dreams. They're not common, right? Certain things you will see, they're not common. Okay, so... Sometimes you'll see certain things. Okay, let me explain. So I had this dream, and I'm going to be as vague as possible, in which I saw tigers being uncaged, and I was somewhere um, with some people that I knew. So when I went and looked up through an evangelist, right? By the way, most of my dreams, I look at, at them through this, this um, TV evangelist, this YouTube evangelist called Evangelist is Joshua. Okay, so his name is Evangelist Joshua Okarike. Evangelist Joshua Okarike, and he does dream interpretation. And I get most of my dream interpretations through him. And I don't usually, when I, I don't usually use Google, or do I use, I don't usually use Google, or do I lose Muslim predictions? Because when you go through Google, it'll give you a Muslim prediction, right? So I usually go to the Christian prediction, but most likely, if you want to interpret something, you'll have to go through yourself also. You have to analyze what certain things mean to you.